Mom got a new Christmas gift. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it comes with the telescope. Yeah. That's our Christmas decoration for the day because we haven't quite decorated the house, but we're trying to add little things here and there. Good morning, I'm Amy, this is A Star Reads, and it's the first day, it's December 1st, it's time for Vlogmas. I am so excited. Cece decided this is the perfect time to start playing with her toy. Cece. It is a Thursday. I'm currently in the middle of, finals week is technically next week, but I don't really have any finals this time around. I have mostly like projects and I've got a ton. So I'm in the middle of tons and tons of homework. And unfortunately, it's taking away from the things I would like to be doing, like Christmassy stuff. We did not get a chance to decorate last weekend as much as we wanted to, meaning the weekend during Thanksgiving. And so we're hoping to this weekend, we're hoping to get a lot more decorations, including getting our Christmas tree. And we'll see how things go. It just depends on getting my homework and stuff done. So what's going on with me right now and the plans for today, it's like 7 a.m. I'm gonna be going to do recess duty this morning. And then after that, I have assignments, assignments that have to get done. In fact, one giant assignment that I haven't started on yet, that's due today, but I think it'll go well. It's just, it's just gonna have to, like it has to. And then I have another assignment for PE. We have a presentation tomorrow, so I have to make sure all that is finished by today. So I have put together my homework schedule. It goes through, let's see, next Thursday. And I kind of spread it out a little bit here so it's not as painful. So. Like I could probably get all this stuff done before next Thursday, but I also kind of want to take it easy on myself because I can already tell that I'm getting tired <laughs> of doing this work. Today is Thursday, so I've got these two things to do. I'm only trying to do two things at once, but the writing cycle, the mini lesson writing cycle is like a huge, huge project. So that's gonna be happening today. So as far as my 12 days of Christmas advent calendar with deck the halls being my theme this year, I have to create a holiday wreath using natural materials. And mom's actually gonna do this with me. And so we're really excited to get this going. We've already collected a couple of things for it, but I probably won't be able to work on this until Saturday. I might be collecting things in the meantime. And if I see stuff I'd like to put in my wreath, I'll, I'll collect that, but I probably won't be able to put it together until then. So I'm not gonna be picking day two until this weekend, which is okay because I already have books that I have to work on. For one, I'm currently working on Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. And this is the third book in the Infernal Devices series. I have to read this followed by City of Heavenly Fire before December 9th because Paige and I had decided we wanted to read Infernal Devices and Mortal Instruments concurrently. So this is the book I have to read before I read City of Heavenly Fire. And City of Heavenly Fire is 725 pages. So I'm a little nervous about it. But these ones actually take me a little longer to read because the print is smaller and I don't know, the formatting is different on these books. So I think that once I get this one done, it won't take me quite as long to finish that one because I feel like the formatting on those, they go a lot faster for me. So I'm currently on page 304 of this. I'm a little over halfway. I need to be a lot further than that, but it's just been kind of hard this week with school stuff and I've been really busy. I actually met my cooperating teacher and the class yesterday. Hey, it's Editing Amy here. And I just wanted to let you know really fast that I, I'm telling you about my cooperating teacher here having thought that I had done a Sunday sum up the previous week, which I didn't. So big announcement, I actually got placed for my internship, which starts on, officially starts on January 10th. So I won't be in the class with the students and the teacher until January 10th, but I'm gonna be doing fifth grade. I'm so excited, I can't wait. It's the perfect grade, that's the grade that I, I think most ideally would like to work with. And it's at a great school. It's a really, really cool school. They do some awesome things. It was so exciting to get my actual placement. And then I had to go do like an informal interview sort of thing. So that's what I'm talking about here. Also, I did not get a chance to give you a review of the Night Circus yet. So sometime throughout this vlog, I will take the time to give you a review of Night Circus and let you know what I thought about it because I did not do Sunday Sum Up, which I had planned on doing but oh well, just didn't happen this time around. And I only had one book I had to review anyways, which is Night Circus. So I will make sure that that gets incorporated into this video at some point. And now we get to just decide like, are we a good fit? And hopefully she thinks I'm a good fit because I told the, the organizer that I think she's a good fit for me. So <laughs> uh, it's always nerve wracking. Yeah, it seemed pretty good. And I like the kids. I mean, I always like the kids. That's not like a hard part. It was more like, do the teacher and I, will we see eye to eye? I felt like our teaching philosophies were were pretty similar, so that's a good thing, right? And let's just hope she feels the same way and decides she wants to work with me. So, that's it. 
Mom and I are gonna open our advent calendars, but at the moment I'm in crunch time. So not exactly the most exciting thing to start these vlogs with, but that's the reality of my life right now. Okay, so I got a mama, you ready for day one? Day one. Mom's sick. <laughs> She's losing her voice, so if she sounds a little froggy, she yeah. can't help it. Yeah. Laryngitis. Actually, I'm talking a little better today. A little better today than yesterday. Yesterday sure. I was croaking. Yeah. So this year we were not able to do Disney pens. It's okay. It, they're very expensive. It's a really fun thing to do, but when you're trying to get that many Disney pins to fit into two advent calendars, it's a bit pricey. So this year, because we're trying to be better about our budget, and we have to be, we decided to do something a little different. So for our advent calendar, we have 24 days. I wanted to do something a little strange and bookish. And so what we decided to do for 12 of those days, they would be little gifts that we both picked for each other. So on the even number days, it's gifts that I picked for mom, little gifts that I picked for you. And on mine, it's gifts she picked for me. And then on the odd number days, which we're gonna be starting it with an odd number day, I did something a little bookish and silly and fun. <laughs> So I took one sheet of paper and I counted one to 24. So there's only one chance of us getting number one, number two, number three, number four, all the way up to 24. I cut them up into little pieces and we mix them all together. We took turns drawing one out and putting them in the odd numbered sections of our 24 advent calendar so that I will have 12 of those numbers, mm -hmm. and Amy will have 12 of those numbers in hers. Yeah, and we don't know what they are. If I open one and it has 24 in it, then I get to buy a book that's worth $24. And it can't, you can't have two books worth that amount. It can't be over that amount. I mean, it can be like with tax and change and stuff, but the sticker price has to be as close to that number on the little tag as possible. So the fun thing is we're gonna end up with 12 books each. Yes and they're gonna cost the price that we pull. Yes, and so somebody will get one. Somebody one may get all the nice high-priced ones and may not get the other ones. <laughs> I'm not saying you, we don't know, it's so random. It'll be fun. This was really something surprising that Amy came up with. Yeah. And instead of buying 24 little things, we only had to buy 12 little things mm -hmm. and, we'd, and then we would get to buy books. Yeah. What yeah. more could you ask for? And so then the other important part of this particular challenge is that we have to buy those books during this Vlogmas. So I'm not going to wait until like January or something like that. We have to go on little book shopping sprees in order to get these Yay. books. So we'll take you with us. Okay, my arm is falling off. Let's get this going. Okay. <laughs> and of course we have our chocolates. This year I went to a local chocolate shop and we got a combination of these little taster chocolates and actual truffles. So this is Columbi 75% Prelis Chocolatier. They have like a ton of these, so we thought it'd be fun to do like little chocolate tastings. Okay. And then what did I get? Because I always do something different. Ooh, I got a little truffle. Ooh. Oh, I can see what it is. Hold on, let me check out the little sheet. Oh, it has roses on it. Oh, how cute. Let's see. Milk Mom's spiral. Mom's having a hard time reading that. I wonder if it's Milk Spiral. Balsamic caramel. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> We're yeah, it's not a, being able to find this one. It's got little I, I little flowers spiral, on it. Milk spiral. Oh, maybe it's milk spiral. But why wouldn't it say flowers on it? What flavor does it say this milk spiral is? Balsamic caramel. I don't think it's milk, though. Is it milk? Number one. Let's see what the book price is I'm making on this. Look how small it is. <laughs> Let's see what mom's <gasps> What? Whoa! You I get to buy a girl? $20 book. Yep. Your first book will so be I a can, $20 I mean, book. I can even go to Barnes and Nobles. I don't have to go to a used bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <Woo! laughs> okay, let's see <coughs> what mine is. <laughs> One dollar. I have probably. You want me to open it for you? No, I can do it. <gasps> what? I'm still one-upping you. <laughs> Twenty-two dollars. Well, sure, you put one through twenty-four. I did. Okay. So. <laughs> well, obviously, I, I got. Oh my gosh, we 22. both get a good book. But mine's gonna be better than yours. <laughs> it does not necessarily. <laughs> a twenty-dollar book could be just as good or better than a twenty-two dollar. Mm, maybe, book. maybe. Getting a runaway ball and freezing my butt off at recess. Okay, so I'm currently making breakfast because I completely forgot to eat breakfast this morning. I had coffee, but I didn't remember to eat any food before going to do recess duty. I just kind of ran out of time this morning. I was like, oh no, what time is it? I gotta go. 
too. And I hadn't eaten anything. So I'm having a, a slightly larger brunch and I'm just eating leftover Filipino food because I went and picked up Filipino food last night and then putting some eggs on it. And then I wanted to say, I completely forgot to mention that I am reading a Christmas book right now. I'm listening to it on an audiobook. I'm listening to A Merry Little Meat Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. This is a steamy romance and this is a collaboration between apparently one author, Sierra Simone's more of a steamy author, typically does more erotica. And then the other author, Julie Murphy, is a lot more straight laced, I think, in her romance usually, but this is gonna be a fun collaboration to see how it goes. And it's about this adult film star who ends up getting cast in a Christmas film, like a very wholesome Christmas film. <laughs> and her co-star is like a boy band guy who's an adult now, but he has sullied his image and he has to repair his image. So he's doing this romantic holiday movie trying to help his image, but he has a real thing for this particular adult film star that he knows her work from prior. So of course they're trying to keep everything very PC because they both have to keep their image in, in good order. And we'll see how it goes. It seems pretty fun so far. I'm not as crazy about the audiobook as I'd like to be. The male voice actor in this is not my favorite. And so, that's a bit of a bummer, you know, since I'm only reading Christmas books or what have you from my actual advent calendar and less of the books I'm trying to finish, which are those Cassandra Clare books, then I'm not really picking anything else up. So I figure I get a little bit of freedom through my audiobooks. I'm probably about a quarter of the way through that one now. And I've just been listening to that as I drive here and there and everywhere. It was 27 degrees outside Fahrenheit. There was not a lot of wind blowing, but there was some wind blowing. So I'm a little wind burned. <laughs> I wonder how long it'll take my face to even out, but it was cold out there and my body got really cold. Okay, CSC and I just took a quick trip to the library to pick up some fractured fairy tale picture books because I'm currently working on a writing lesson cycle that's going to be surrounding fractured fairy tales. We have to have quite a few examples since I figured I'd pick up some examples. You know, I'd rather be doing a lot of other things right now. So <laughs> I need all the inspiration I can get. Just listening to Merry Little Meet Cute on the way to and from. And then when I get back home, I'm back to that homework. But I did get my PE homework assignment done, or at least the preparation for the presentation tomorrow. So that's good. So I've submitted my partner lesson that's complete tomorrow. This is for PE. Tomorrow we will do our presentation, which is basically just a lesson on how to volley in badminton with a partner. And then after that, we have to do a reflection within 48 hours. So that's the plan for tomorrow, including a math homework. I'm currently working on my writing cycle mini. It's a mini lesson, writing cycle slash mini lesson. And this is a huge, 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 huge project. And um, I'm making really good progress on it, but it's all of this. This is all the work I've done today because, you know, of course I waited till the last minute to work on this. So I've got to work on the rubric, figure out what kind of tech I want to use for this writing cycle, uh, finish up this right here, which I've been working on, mentor texts. Relevant resources, I gotta add some resources. I did already add my mentor text. And then I actually have to create my own fractured fairy tale that I would wanna use, a teacher made example. And then I have to create a mini lesson which looks like this example right here. So it's no small feat either. <laughs> so I'm like, way to go, Amy, wait until the last minute. But I have made significant progress really quickly tonight. And I've got plenty of energy and I'm in it right now. So, you know, when you get in those modes, you're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna get this done before midnight. It's only 7.30ish right now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get done.
I'm starting to run out of steam. Okay, it's about 10.54, and I have just finished my writing cycle mini, writing cycle slash mini lesson. So that is done. Woohoo! And I'm on track for tomorrow. I'm a little nervous about my presentation because I haven't had too much of a chance to, like, go over it and make sure I'm ready for it, but I'm just going to wing it, and I'm pretty good at winging it. Okay, end of the day. I've read less than 20 pages of this, and <laughs> I'm 26% of the way through A Merry Little Meat Cute. <sighs> Kids, don't procrastinate. It's not worth it. This was too big of a project for me to wait till today to do. <laughs> I don't think it'll be that bad going forward, I hope. I should have more time to do stuff over the next, until, until, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Good morning! It is day two, the second day of December, and I am, I'm already like on, I got so much to do, I gotta get this done, I gotta get that done. I slept like six hours, it was probably enough, but I could have used more, but I'm also a little wired because my brain is like, okay, you're in that mode, you gotta get all this stuff done, it's time, and you got a lot of things going on, so <laughs> for today, what's on the docket? Well, we're gonna look at our advent calendars, of course, and then I've got PE at nine, and this is when we're doing our presentation, so I'm currently looking at my presentation because I didn't feel like I prepared for this very well. I mean, we wrote it, we did it, we turned it all in, but I haven't like gone over what we're gonna be doing exactly so that I can make sure that I feel like I'm flowing easily when we're there. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see, it should be fine. It'll be fine. I'm the kind of person who does things on the whim anyway, then they usually, uh, at least when I'm presenting, turn out well. And then homework wise, so we got my PE presentation, and then we have 48 hours to do a reflection on that presentation. And I'm gonna try and do that today if I can get that done because I just wanna get it over with. And then I've got Isaac, stop it. He's been scratching on our chairs and he's gonna put holes in them. Yeah, you. He's, um, he does that to get our attention. <laughs> but why does he have to destroy things to get our attention? Okay. I'm gonna be meeting with my practicum student for our final practicum together. I have a Zoom meeting to go over mock interviews with my literacy teacher and another student because we both couldn't make the class yesterday morning. And then I'll just be working on homework this evening. And I have so much reading to do when it comes to Quack Princess that I need to be working on that. If I can do anything Christmassy today, I would like to, just because I want to keep doing something every day, just to get things done. I mean, we're not going to be able to decorate. We'll probably start decorating tomorrow. I'm hoping to do decorating tomorrow, probably the majority of it on Sunday. Yeah, that sounds about right. And I just feel like I'm no closer to that. <laughs> it's frustrating. How you feeling, Mama? Still got the cold. Poor Mama. Okay, what do you want to do first? Chocolate. I got a little taster. This one is called Equator. Oh, I do too. It's called Indonesia. Ooh. Oh, yours looks a little lighter than mine. <laughs> Day two. You ready? Ooh, you got something in there. Trying to guess what it is. No guess. No guess? That's not a good <coughs> guess. It's rectangular. Mm, very good. Is it soft? It's hard. Ooh, and it's shiny. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god, this is adorable. What is it? Oh. Oh, it's a lot of little. Oh my God, these are adorable. They're what like, are they? They're like little charmy kind of things that you can put on different things. Oh, he lost his... And I figured, you like little things and you like to put things I in do. shadow boxes and stuff like that. Like these could go well in shadow boxes. I got them at Joanne's, so they're meant to be some kind of crafty thing. Oh, they are. But Aren't this they cute? Fell off. You got Mickey, Minnie. She's cute. Look at Goofy. And they're all fuzzy. They're... they're 
This is fuzzy. Oh, up and here. they're adorable. Not the whole thing is fuzzy, but the hats are fuzzy. Then, ah! Donald. They. And finally, Pluto, who's lost his. Lost something. I gotta his forget antlers. that. Those were his antlers. Something kind of round-ish. Well, like, you know, it's like, ooh, it's squishy. But there's a little bit of heart in there. Ah, uh, what is this? Squishy. Oh, it's Wally. How cute. That's really cute. Look, oh. <laughs> oh, poor Wally. <laughs> oh my God. That's adorable. That's adorable. It's this cute little, uh, like, is it like those ones that we got over there? Not sure. They came in little packages that you don't know what to get until you open it up. It's so cute. Little mystery. Oh, I it's love so Wally. Cute. Wally's adorable. And while I'm sitting here waiting, it just started to snow. Look at that. Eee, snowy. Okay, so PE's done. It wasn't my best presentation that I've ever done. I'm usually pretty good at presentations and today just, I was not on the ball. And I'm blaming it on the pie I had this morning. Now, mom and I have been really good about not bringing sugar into the house lately because we were finding that we were snacking too much on sugar. We can have sugar still, but just not bringing it into the house. Now the advent calendars are obviously an exception this month, but mom brought home some pie from Aunt Nancy's that was left over from Thanksgiving. And I had it for breakfast with my coffee. Actually, that's all I had. I just had pie with my coffee. And I have a headache. I don't feel good. I think that was a really, really bad idea because <laughs> I haven't been eating as much sugar lately. So my brain is like, what are you doing? You should be eating healthy stuff, healthy brain food because you're using your brain so much. So yeah, it, it didn't go great. And I was sweaty and I was just, I was like, just not my normal self. So I'm trying to pet myself up right now. I'm waiting for my practicum to start. I got here over an hour before practicum starts. So I'm just sitting here. That's the school that I'll be at. It's a really pretty school. Like the outside of the school is really pretty. It's kind of weird on the inside. But yeah, it started snowing and it's beautiful. And I'm just reading Clockwork Princess while I wait because I'm so behind on where I need to be with that. And I'm just hoping I'll pep up a little bit before I meet with my student. I was watching my friend Sam's Vlogmas video day one and she's so sweet. You've seen her in a couple of my videos and hopefully she'll be in some of my holiday videos and we'll get to do some holiday fun things together because she's wonderful and she's super into the holidays. So I was having fun watching her vlogmas video and then just started reading clockwork princess so that's kind of where i'm at right now well that was kind of short-lived my student wasn't here <laughs> the teacher's like did you want to work with another student but the lesson i had was very specific to my students spelling and so i was like no here just give her this i did like a, a card for her and i gave her a little pencil and so i said just give this to her and I'll let you know how everything went and uh that's it my last practicum day and my student wasn't there well I just got home and it looks like they got a little more snow out here than we did because there's actually snow sticking I just added mock interview on there because realistically I should have had that on here. So I did that. That's done. I did my presentation in PE. It wasn't my, my best that I've ever done, but I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's done. That's all that matters. I haven't done my presentation reflection and I haven't done my problem of the month because I've just got home and done with my mock interview. I'm not necessarily sure when I'm going to start on my presentation reflection or my problem of the month that's due tonight. I need to take a break. My brain needs a break. My, I just, it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day, but the mock interview went really well. So even though my presentation this morning 
for PE didn't go great. My interview, fantastic. So that's good. Um, sorry if this is all homework stuff and not fun Christmassy stuff. I'm just, I'm just in the thick of it right now. So I'm gonna go read Clockwork Princess because that is what I feel like doing and I need to do it anyway. So I'm gonna be reading and then once I regain a little bit of energy and a little bit of brain, I have to take some something for my headache. Once I regain energy, I'm gonna work on my problem of the month because that's the first thing I need to make sure I get done. And then after that, I'll work on my PE presentation reflection and then hopefully I'll be done for the day. Okay, great news. I just got an email from my program that says that my cooperating teacher that I had the interview with on Wednesday does want to work with me and we're going to continue on. And now I have an official placement. I'm going to be working with fifth graders and I've met them all. So hopefully they, you know, were excited to meet me. Probably they're fifth graders. <laughs> and I like the teacher that I'll be working with and I think that it's gonna be a good fit. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited. That feels good. And I needed that. I also took some Tylenol for my brain, <laughs> my head, cause it's been hurting really bad. And I'm gonna take some time and listen to my audiobook, Merry Little Meet Cute, and work on a Christmas puzzle. Cause I need a little bit of Christmas infusion into my day today. I wanted to start reading Clockwork Princess, but I think right now I just want to work on a puzzle. Like when I picked up this puzzle to move it to another spot, I was like, oh, I want a puzzle. So that's what I'm gonna do. Here's the puzzle. It's a sparkle shine puzzle, 500 glitter puzzle piece, pieces. And look how pretty that is. We'll see, Merry Little Meet Cute. It's a really cute story so far and it's very smutty. So like, if you're not a fan of the smutty stories, be aware that this one definitely leans in that direction, which makes sense because the main character of this is an adult film star at B, her name is B. And she's a plus size character, which I really love because I love the positive elements of this woman feeling very sexy and beautiful about herself. And of course she has had to deal with how society can treat her. But she also is a lot really confident because she has a lot of fans within her area of adult film and she has done very well for herself. Nolan, the washed up teen idol, uh, is one of those fans. Although, you know, he doesn't let on right away because she's hiding who she is. She's not, nobody's supposed to know that she's an adult film star because this movie that they're putting on is a very wholesome, it's on the Hope channel and <laughs> everybody's afraid that uh, it's gonna get out. And if it gets out, then of course this production company, which is also an adult film company owned by Teddy, he's trying to get into another industry, which is Christmas films, I guess. <laughs> so he has made the rule that B can't have sex with anybody, can't let anybody know she's a porn star. And she has to be very careful about what information gets out there because they don't want to ruin their chances. And she doesn't want to ruin her chance of becoming an actress in an industry outside of the adult film industry. So that's kind of where she's at. Nolan, the main male character, has had some questionable things happen in his past and he's doing this specifically so he can clear up his image. And so his manager has set him a rule that he is not allowed to have any shenanigans with anybody while he's doing this film because she doesn't want him getting into trouble again. But of course, B has this, it's called closed doors site where she does stuff behind closed doors. And he's like one of her biggest fans. <laughs> so when he meets her, he's like, oh my goodness, this is like the dream I've had for so long is this character, Bianca. And she's had the dream of Nolan because she was a big fan of the boy band that he was part of when he was younger. So like they both are totally into each other, but they're not allowed to do anything about it or they're not supposed to do anything about it. So that's where it's at. It's got, of course, a little bit of the Christmassy vibes because of the location. But you know, as far as how things are going, there's little nods here and there, but it's not super Christmassy at this point because what we're focused on more is the tension and the desire and the smut between these two. And then I think that the relationship between the two is not being built up hugely a little bit. There's cute little things that they learn about each other and you're getting to see how much they like each other. But I think a lot of their reactions to each other depends on the desire that they've built up over the years. He's built up so much desire for her over the years because he's been a fan of her closed door site. And she's built up desire for him ever since she was a teenager because she loved his band Ink and she loved following him. So like, 
it's it's cute but you know there's not at this point a lot of relationship building because i feel like this is a little more focused on the fun the the desire the sexiness and i'm enjoying it it's a lot of fun and it's probably exactly what i needed right now and i have been finding that even though i'm not crazy about the narrators especially the male narrator for the audiobooks i am still having a hard time turning off this audiobook when i'm you know, like getting out of the car or what have you, because it's just kind of what I need right now. My brain is like, yes, this is what I want. And I guess I needed a little smut in my life. So it's working out. <laughs> just like, uh, just need no thinking, no thinking, just fun romances. Which was why it was so fascinating that a made for TV Christmas movie was where she wanted to make her directorial debut. Okay, so this is where it's at at this point. I've got my outline and then I was starting to put some things together over here, like little houses and stuff like that. So not too far, but you know, give me a bit of a break from schoolwork and stuff. Well, I'm looking a little rough, but I have finished my math problem of the month, which is actually the problem of the term because we only had one this, this term. It was over eight pages for me. So I submitted all these pages and I was all handwritten because it was math, so I was doing a lot of writing. And I only had one other thing that I had to finish today, which was a presentation reflection, which actually isn't due till Sunday and it's just reflecting on how my PE presentation went today. I was really not feeling good for most of the day. I'm finally feeling better. I think I'm starting to get migraines as I get older and I think it has something to do with my time of the month. And it's just gotten worse as I've gotten older. I've noticed I've gotten a lot more headaches and they're getting progressively worse and so it's something I need to talk to a doctor about and it's just frustrating because today for most of the day I was feeling really icky and I couldn't get it to go away so I'm gonna take whatever I can as a win today because today was rough and I did do my PE presentation I did do a mock interview I didn't get to do my last practicum because my student was out probably sick and oh that's okay that's okay but i can mark off problem of the month is complete because it is done and that is a really big assignment so i'm happy about that and this thing is just gonna move down to tomorrow i did get to do something christmasy today i worked on that puzzle for a little bit i was feeling pretty rotten at that time so i definitely didn't enjoy the process as much as i was hoping i would <laughs> it wasn't horrible it was fun it was just not as relaxing as I thought it was gonna be. I am halfway through A Merry Little Meet Cute at this point. And yeah, definitely uh, don't pick up this book if you <laughs> don't like very, very spicy scenes. It's pretty explicit, but it has been fun and I'm enjoying listening to that one. I'm gonna go read Clockwork Princess until I fall asleep. Tomorrow is Saturday. I am not waking up early. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow when it's time to open our advent calendars. Getting lots more snow. Good morning! It is the third day of December and I feel alive. <laughs> I feel whole again. I feel like a human being today. So my body wanted to wake up when I would normally wake up. I wanted to sleep in till like eight or something. And it was like, no, nope, we're waking up earlier. This is what time your alarm would typically go off. I still got sleep and I feel really good today. And I'm ready for whatever the day brings, meaning homework and some of the stuff that we need to get done. But I wanted to say that this morning I did lay in bed for a while and continued reading Clockwork Princess because last night I was too tired to read very much of it. I read a teeny bit, but I fell asleep. And I'm about 67% of the way through. So I'm on page 380 something. But this is gonna be my book effort for the day. And I hope I can get through it because we have to read City of Heavenly Fire before the 9th which is 725 pages. And I'm a little nervous about getting that done in like seven days. <laughs> 
but my school load is winding down. I'm really hoping to have all my schoolwork done by either Wednesday or Thursday, or at least the majority of it done by Wednesday or Thursday. And so that means I'll have a lot of time during the day to read like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday which is necessary because I need to get City of Heavenly Fire done. And Paige and I have talked about maybe trying to shift it out a week, but I would prefer us just to try and stay on schedule. So I'm gonna attempt that. And, and at the end of this weekend, we'll see how far I was able to get through this than City of Heavenly Fire, and then we'll kinda come back and discuss again. <laughs> I'm looking like I just washed my face and put on my moisturizer, so looking a little shiny, but yeah, I'm just happy I feel a lot better. And so as far as Christmassy stuff today, advent calendars. And if anything else Christmassy hap- Oh, ah, hello. Today is the day we're gonna make our wreaths, our Christmas wreaths, the whole point of this video. Gosh, Amy, what is just crazy. Okay. <laughs> So we'll probably take Cece for a walk. There's a trail that's really nice next to the river where there's a lot of fun stuff like winter berries and stuff along that trail. And I think we can pick some stuff and find some things that we'd really want to add to our wreaths. I'm planning on making a really big one that will go onto the front of the house. And mom is planning on making a smaller one to go on our front door, which is actually our back door. So that's the plan for today. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, well, I'm gonna get the day started and I will see you with Advents in a minute. Whoa, it snowed more than I thought it did. Look at that. Oh man, it snowed quite a bit last night. I'm running to the house because it's cold. <laughs> Okay, so we're a little tight on space today because I have the puzzle back there, but we've got our chocolates and our coffee to go with our chocolates. Are you ready to see what you got today? Day three? Yeah. <gasps> Did you get a, a truffle? Milk chocolate stripes is what okay. that's called. What did I get? Ooh, I got a truffle too. Mine has cherries on it. Oh, I bet Ooh, that has, see. I bet that has cherries inside of it. Oh, that's cute. I think this might be Frangelica, which is a hazelnut liqueur. As you can see, there are times when I had to like manipulate these to get these in these little teeny boxes because they don't fit very well. <laughs> our boxes are small and our chocolates are huge. Yeah. Mine was definitely cherry on the inside and mom says hers was hazelnut. hazelnut. Mm. Yeah. We know that it's going to be- A book. A price for a book. Yes. Okay, what is it? Ooh. 17, you're getting big numbers. First 22, now 17. Oh, that makes me nervous. <coughs> oh, there goes my, <laughs> get it out, <laughs> it's just turning. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting skilled with, dexterous with my one hand. Why are all the big ones on top? I don't know. It means we're getting really <coughs> small ones closer to Christmas. <coughs> big money, big money! So then we're gonna have to be going to it, um, use bookstore by Christmas yeah. time. Well, we'll be poor by then anyways because of <laughs> all the Christmas gifts all and this stuff. Money yeah. on all right. Yay! So should we do a book shopping spree soon? I think so. Because we're going to Orcas Island next week. We're going on a little week long trip because we just needed to get away. And it's close, but they have a bookstore there. But we're not leaving until the 12th, so I want to spend some money. You know, <laughs> this is this is exciting. You've got a My lot, first one yeah. was 22. Yeah. No, your first one was 20. 20. And then this one is 17. My first one was 22. Oh, oh I thought it was mine. 23. <laughs> so I, I have a couple of ideas of books I want to get. Can't remember them right now, but I, I think I put them in my Goodreads. So. And I always have books I want to get, so. I'm sure that I'll have no problem figuring that out. Well, I did it, I exercised. <laughs> I always say I'm going to, <laughs> but today I actually made the time, so that feels good. 
But yeah, whew, I'm out of shape. <laughs> school, school has uh, taken out on me. Okay, it is currently 126 and I have made a lot of progress today so far. I have finished my PE reflection. I have emailed my CT, which is my cooperating teacher. I have emailed my practicum teacher and that took a while because I let her know a lot of stuff. And the only thing I have left to do is work on my problem set. But I think I'm taking a break from my computer for a little bit. I'm having hair woes. <laughs> We're getting ready to go do our walk in the snow and along the river so that we can pick up stuff for our reeds. And I realize that lately I've been pretty boring and just wearing my hair up in a bun. For one, it's easier because I don't want to think about anything. <laughs> but two, the weather is so dry right now, especially since we've gotten some snow on the ground. It's so dry that my hair is fly away. So I put some stuff in it that's supposed to be like anti-frizz and hopefully that'll help with the static, but I have so much static in my hair and I have for the last few days that I just keep putting it up in a bun because it's annoying. So we'll see if this stuff works. It's Briogeo Farewell Frizz, blow dry perfection meant for blow dry and heat, heat protectant. So it's mostly about that, but I figured because it works for frizz that it might work for electricity because yeah, you know how some people look super cute in wintry stuff? I never seem to. <laughs> yeah. So we're here at this trail next to the river and I've noticed that this one always has a lot of good different variety of greenery and stuff like that so I figured this would be a good place for us to do some collecting for our reef. definitely want some of these winter berries. They're gonna look really pretty. Let's oh. clone off these sticks because they look really pretty. Last windstorm we got quite a few branches and stuff that fell down so we're gonna use this for the greenery and mom's getting some cedar greens over there okay so we have been talking and we had a wonderful time going and collecting but we're thinking that it might be time to call it and we'll have to work on our reeds tomorrow because mom's feeling you know she's been sick and then oh my nose it's all red now yeah. And then I have a lot of homework still. So I did a lot of stuff today, but I need to make sure I get one more assignment done today. That's on my schedule of things to do. So do your hair. <laughs> Don't I look fabulous? <laughs> so, Don't yeah. look at my hair. And I can't really start a new book today anyway. So if I were to pick an advent book, I wouldn't have been able to start it today anyway. So I figure one more day is not gonna hurt. It, it may take you this long to read a book when you get a book. So yeah. This is an activity. Especially during school. Like, usually at the beginning of December, it takes me a while to get to the second Advent day because I don't read as much during the time that I'm finishing up school. Here's our bounty. Look, all these goodies that we got here, including these rose hips that I picked up at the last, and 
Those were hurting my hands. I'll break all the rose, the things. The off. thorns off? Yeah. A Christmas kitty. A Christmas kitty. Hi. We got some pizza. They just came out and they smell so good. Mm -hmm. Woohoo, I'm actually on track. I have finished my problem set. So I did everything I needed to do for Saturday. Tomorrow I've got my literacy block newsletter, which I've heard is gonna take longer than I'm expecting or I'm hoping it'll take. And then my take home final for PE shouldn't hopefully be too bad. Good morning, it's day four. And I don't have quite the same amount of energy I had yesterday. I'm currently working on editing this video so that I can get this to you as quick as possible once we finish our reads today. So we're gonna be working on those today. I have two big homework assignments that I have to do. I have to create a literacy block newsletter. So basically a newsletter that I'm sending to imaginary parents <laughs> about the literacy that I teach in the class. And then I have my PE final, which is three parts. I don't think it'll be that hard. It's stuff we've already done throughout the term, so it shouldn't take too long. I am gonna try and do day two of exercising. It's actually a dance party. So I'm gonna try and do the Mad Fit exercise as many days as I possibly can, but I'm not marking it down anywhere because I don't wanna feel guilty about it. So I'm just doing it when I can and when I feel like, okay, you gotta do it, Amy. Unfortunately, I did not finish Clockwork Princess last night. I got so busy doing a lot of different things that I didn't give myself the amount of time I needed to finish this, but I'm getting really close. I think I have about 110 pages left to go that I can easily do today. So I'm going to finish Clockwork Princess today so that I can start City of Heavenly Fire also today or tomorrow. I'm cutting it really close. Coffee, that's the most important part, I think. Mine's the Disney coffee. And look what yours is. I know, this is, my friend Teresa gave this to me. Best it must teacher be a ever. of coffee. She doesn't know yet if I am. <laughs> You're going to be. And it's huge. Look how big this is. Look at the comparison. Oh, yeah, yours is <laughs> probably 16 oh, ounces. Like that. That's more accurate right there. But still. 16 ounces, I suspect. That's huge. <laughs> okay, we are on what day? Four, four. We're on day four. Not eight. Four, four. We're on day four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we're going to get on day four. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I got nothing. I threw it down. I got, I think this was a chocolate covered candied oh, orange peel. Oh. Or lemon peel. I don't remember. I lost mine. You better find <laughs> it before the cat or dog gets it. Here comes a cat. I'm trying to find. Oh, Isaac, no, get out of there. Mom's is a geometric shape. I'm pretty sure this one is peanut butter. Ooh. I had to cut these ones down because they didn't fit. So I actually had to cut the chocolate off on the sides. My new favorite is the orange peel that's covered in chocolate. It's so good. Look at that. Yep, day four is... Peeking out. Peeking out. Ooh, mm. that's big. We call this big <laughs> because Here. these are little tiny square boxes. It's not huge. It oh, and it's wrapped too well. I think I know what this one is. Feels like a Christmas tree. We'll have to see. A little miniature Christmas tree. Oh, I'm right. This is perfect because- um, Isn't that cute? Look at the bottom. Let's look at the bottom. It's a little wooden block base. But what this is so cute about is we have all those things on there. Look, now we have a little Christmas scene for our little friends. Our little <laughs> Disney friends need Christmas too. That's right. Thank you. Ooh. I guess what mine is. Can you guess what yours is? Okay. Ooh, earrings, earrings. No, maybe, maybe, no, maybe. Earrings, earrings, yeah, earrings. Oh, you're so bad. I'm bad? That means I'm good. Oh, you're too close. You said I'm so bad, I don't know, I'm just guessing that's good that I, oh, how cute. Oh, those are really, oh, they're nickel free, that's perfect, that's, that's exactly what I need. Oh, these are so cute. Are those, I saw the, Mother. That's quite Christmas. a Christmas faux pas. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so These sorry. are so cute. Aren't... And I can't believe they're nickel free. They're so pretty. You're very pretty. I These love are Christmas Aren't earrings. Cute? These are really cute and they actually work with my ears. They like earrings if they're nickel free, but they get pretty pretty bad. Like they'll start bleeding and get all nasty and stuff like that. So I do love to wear earrings and I used to wear earrings a ton, but my allergies to, to the metal 
have always been a, a problem. So we usually tend to buy them from this company called Simply Whispers, which does all nickel free and has a lot of variety. But I'm glad that mom was able to find some really cute. These are really cute. I, I love, love these. Them. They look really good on me too. I'm ready for my Christmas close up. Okay, so I think it is time for me to give you a review of Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And I'm really excited to talk about this one. But this is a buddy read that I was doing with Paige from Pages with Paige, Danielle from Bookara, and Natalie from Nat Cat's Bookish Cafe. I thought we had a really good time buddy reading it. It was a lot of fun. I actually stayed on track when it came to this buddy read. And I think it was because we were messaging each other so often. Well, and we weren't hiding any of the spoilers. So like, I didn't want to get too far behind and I didn't want to see the spoilers. Every time I got a little message, I was like, oh, make sure that I read up to today. It was only like 40 pages a day, which was nice that Paige split it up the way she did because I guess it didn't feel too overwhelming. And so that worked out really well. Plus I was really engaged. I, I absolutely loved it. So I gave Night Circus five stars. I thought it was incredible. It didn't end up being one of my top 10 books of all time. When I first started, I was like, oh, this is nice, but it's not exactly the detail I tend to like when it comes to very atmospheric books. It was detailed, but just in a different way. And then as I started getting into it, like that was for the first couple of chapters and I was enjoying it, but I wasn't like, oh, this is a favorite book. And then as I started getting into like more and more chapters, I was like falling in love with this book. I was thinking this is gonna be one of my favorite books of all time. And then about, I don't remember how far through, there's one big thing that happens and I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a big thing that happens and it wasn't bad and it didn't change the story to be something I didn't like. It was still five stars for me all the way through, but I felt like the pace slowed down even more after that point, after that one event happened and it was still great, but it kind of took it out of the running of one of my top 10 favorite books of all time. So still absolutely loved it. Still five stars all the way through. The themes and the vibes in this book were so magical and the setting and the scenes were so incredible and, and so easy to visualize that I was like, I want to do this. I want to make sure I have midnight dinners. I want to make sure I have a party that's night circus theme. Like I really don't do that very often for books, but this particular book inspired it. And what I really enjoyed about that was in this story, you get this fan base of people who really love the night circus. And it reminded me of like people who love Disney or love different types of fandoms and how you get into it. And you just find that you have fun talking to other people who are also fans and you start collecting things and you want to enjoy the experience of it and think about it. And I, I kind of felt that was really nostalgic to me because even though the Night Circus is not actually a thing, I could actually see this love, this fandom that was growing within the story around me in fandoms that I enjoy. So I, I just, I liked that a lot. Also, and I think one of the things that was very important to me was the characters. I really loved the characters in this. I loved them from the get-go. I didn't like every single character, but I loved how the characters were created and I liked what they brought to the story. I thought that that was just so well done. And to me, a person who is really into characters, it's a very important for a book that I'm gonna absolutely love for the characters to be characters that I enjoy. I thought that they were clever and nuanced, not perfect, which is what I like when it comes to characters. I don't love characters that are absolutely perfect or absolutely bad. I like shades of gray because I think it's more realistic. I thought the story was great. I was excited to learn about these two magicians who basically have zero choice. They're put into a challenge that they're kind of raised into. They don't get to choose. They don't get to choose anything about their lives. And they have to see this through because the way this challenge works, it's not like an actual competition where you're standing next to each other and you're seeing who's the better magician. It's a lot more involved. It has a lot more pieces than that. And it's a lot longer of a time commitment. And both of our magicians have zero idea what the stakes are in this challenge. And I think that ends up making this story like achingly beautiful because there is a lot that ends up being very sad. And you see that our characters are having to make choices, are not doing necessarily the best things, but I feel like 
it's a product of how they were raised. It's a product of the situation they've been placed into. There are so many things in this that I could easily see getting upset with the characters and the choices they make. But I'm like, but let's look back at what kind of choices they have been allowed. And it's really tricky because it doesn't just involve these two characters. There's so many people that are intertwined in this and a lot of them don't have a choice. And that's what makes this whole thing even more dangerous and raises the stakes even more. It was so clever. The magic was so beautiful in this. Oh, I, I can't tell you how much I love the magic. And I'm not a person who particularly likes seeing magicians or magician show, shows and stuff like that. This was so different though. This was actually based on magic and I have never read anything so beautiful when it came to the magic scenes of this, like the actual performance of these magic tricks and stuff. So, so beautiful. I loved that part of it. Those were the parts where I was like, this is going to be my favorite book of all time. <laughs> it, just, it just was so incredible. So well written. If you love magical books and you don't mind the pace that's a bit slow, but you like character development and you like situations that aren't as clear-cut, I would suggest reading Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. But just be aware that it is a slow-paced book from the get-go. It's not like it's going to be a fast book. I wouldn't recommend trying to speed through this book. It's just an magical atmospheric book. Done. So I'm going to start out with my round by tying one of these branches to the outside and wiring it to this. And that'll be the base of my wreath. And then I'll just keep adding on to it, making it larger because this is gonna be the one that goes in the front of the house. So we want it to be pretty big. And then I can always put little bits on here as well and you know, use this as a, as a base for everything that I attach to it. But then I can also attach things to, to the actual branches themselves. So that's how I'm gonna start. And I have this wire, which is the same color as, no, mostly the same color. So that way you can't really see all the wiring that goes into it. And of course, little wire clippers. Okay, so it's hard to tell, but this is where we are at currently. There's a couple of pieces that I don't love the way they're falling, but of course I can try and wire them later on so that they'll fan out a little bit more. I do want to make it a little fuller in some parts, but this is quite a project and it's taking longer than I was kind of hoping it would. So I'm going to keep working on it, but I also need to go back and continue working on my PE final and I haven't even started <laughs> one of my other homework assignments. We've been running out of light pretty early and it's easier to do this in the light, but you know, I'm just gonna keep plugging away at all the stuff that I have to do. So it's executive decision time. I have been working hard on my wreath and I'm enjoying it, but the whole point of these activities is to enjoy the experience of working through a Christmas project or something along those lines. And I feel like I'm trying to rush through it because I have so much homework and I have so many things I need to do and I don't want to rush this process, but I also want to get to the next day so I don't feel like I'm getting too far behind. And so because of that, and because the activities are meant to be something I enjoy during the month of December, I think at this point, I feel like I'm far enough along on my wreath that I can pick day number two. So I'm gonna do that. And then I don't know that I'll be able to get started on day number two, but at least I'll know what it is and I can plan my days accordingly. I'm currently working on my PE final and it's taking a lot longer <laughs> than I was expecting it to. And then I also have another assignment that I wanted to finish today and I haven't even been able to start yet. It's only about 3.45 but like it's getting dark so early. And I guess I'm just not feeling as accomplished today as I did yesterday. So I just need to feel a bit of a win. 
a bit of a win. So we're gonna go with day number two. So for day two, we've got Tis the Season to be Jolly. And this one, oh, the activity is getting a cocktail. That would be nice. And Holly Jolly Diwali is one of the book choices. And Well Met is the other book choice. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. Okay, I'm really excited about this because I'm excited about both those books. And then of course, if it's just the activity, then that would be fantastic. I would feel very jolly, especially after spending a lot of time out in the cold working on the wreath. Let's see what it's gonna be. Okay, day number two. There it is. Okay, I'm excited. I'm nervous. What's it gonna be? <laughs> oh, I'm, it's Sunday. Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 especially, <laughs> this is great, because I can do this easily within the next two days. Make and or go out for a special holiday cocktail. So I might do both. I might decide to go out for a holiday cocktail because there's a lot of places here in Bellingham that have little special holiday menus. And then I think it would be fun to make a holiday cocktail. So I'll start thinking about that. And yes, actually this works out perfectly because I'm supposed to be very actively pushing through these Cassandra Clare books. And the advent calendar must know that I need to get through those books because it's making me do the activities. <laughs> so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see what happens on day two of the 12 Days of Christmas Carol Advent Calendar Challenge. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.